Jeepers Creepers Reborn is a reboot of the franchise. You know, after the terrible part three, we've got a different director and we've got our kind of reimagining of the Creeper. In fact, we open up to a scene that's very familiar to the opening sequence in Jeepers Creepers, with an older couple this time travelling down the road, playing their guessing game of license plates when they discover this larger van with the license plate B eating you is following them. And that follows that initial scene quite well. And then it turns out to be watching our, our main character watching a YouTube video about the myth of the creeper. And that leads into a kind of meta aspect that's a little bit different. They kind of throw the first three Jeepers Creepers movies under the bus by saying it's all kind of a myth by saying that there was movies made of the myth and that those were kind of them. But this, this is the real thing. And we get thrown into these, this young couple, two kind of characters that I was never really that invested in, that I never really bought as a couple, go on this adventure. They're going to a horror fest. They're going to a place where people revere the creeper, where it was apparently his stomping grounds. We know the myth. Every 23 years, it awakens, it hunts, it feeds. After 23 days, it goes back to sleep. And we get to see the first time the creeper being reborn as it comes out of its hibernation, as it gets ready to start killing, as it starts to frenzy feed at the start of this one. But we also are introduced to the idea that there is a cult fanatics round about the creeper, people who want to feed and look after him to make sure, well, you know, it's never really made clear why they are doing what they are doing, but it adds a different aspect to the movie. And that's one thing this movie has a lot of ideas. There's so much thrown into this film. Unfortunately, there's some things that didn't need to be there. Some things are a little bit extraneous to the storyline. Some things are just, you know, not back to the original that Again, a little bit one homage too far. And we find in the latter half of this movie, uh, we have a group of characters stuck in a house being hunted by the creeper. It becomes very pedestrian. Whereas up until then, we've got our road trip. We've got this large festival of horror going on, which is all very interesting. We have the mythos of the creeper being built up. And then we have this sequence later on where it is just people in a house being chased by something, trying to survive. It's very familiar. It becomes very tropey very quickly. There's a lot of CGI in this, and some of it, or most of it, is not great. Uh, particularly some of the most egregious ones are the backgrounds. These backgrounds of, of animated CG shots, just they stick out as just being not natural, not really interesting, just in distract from the movie. There also seems to be that, that kind of addition of the cult and the people round about the creeper, which, feel, again, I wasn't really a great fan of that aspect. It feels thrown in there without any real proper thought given to it, without of any expansion to it, without of how it really works within the mythos. Just something to add a little bit more of a creep factor into it. The idea of this sort of white crow, a raven that kind of watches or maybe works with the, the creeper was a, a nice touch. I never really knew what exactly I had to do with the reaper, but I liked the idea of it. Of course, as a reboot, it does some things right. It gives us a good idea of the creeper. It shows some of the aspects of how things work in a nice fashion. There's a moment where he loses an arm and has to acquire another one, which is kind of fun. But we see a little bit too much of the creeper. We don't feel that dread in the build-up of tension of when is he going to strike? When is he going to attack? We get thrown into uh, typical slasher moments, particularly later on when the guys are stuck in the house, hold up, trying to survive. You get a story of one of the characters who is the main victim. And again, I wasn't that interested in their survival. It wasn't super exciting to me. As a reboot, it does some things right. It does a lot of things wrong, but it's way better than part three. Hopefully, if there is going to be a part five, which I think there may be, they'll streamline it a little bit more, make it a little bit more accessible and a little bit more Typical to the first two movies, really building that horror and dread and the mythos of the creeper yet again. 
I enjoyed this one. It's not a great movie, uh, but it's fun. It's got some nice kills. It's quick and easy to watch. Just has a lot going on and not all of it sticks. I would love to know your thoughts on Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Let me know in the comment box below if you've seen it and what you think of it. As always, there's more content up here. If you want to see more of my stuff, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and in the description box below, you can join the membership, the Patreon, or go to manvfilm.com. All ways that you can support me that really helps this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Man V Film.